एम सी क्यू क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द स्पीड ऑफ एन ऑब्जेक्ट फॉर दैट द वॉल्यूम ऑफ दिस ऑब्जेक्ट विल स्ट्रिंग टू हाफ ऑफ इट्स रेस्ट वॉल्यूम सो लेट एस कंसिडर दैट एन ऑब्जेक्ट इज अ मूविंग एलोंग टू एक्स डायरेक्शन विद स्पीड वी सो ड्यू टू मोशन एलोंग टू एक्स डायरेक्शन इट्स लेंथ विल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट एलोंग टू दिस डायरेक्शन ऑनली एंड द परपेंडिकुलर लेंथ remain unchanged so according to special theory of relativity apparent length l equals to proper length l not into square root of 1 minus v square by c square or only one length will contract or along to x direction length will contract and the remaining perpendicular lengths will not contract so volume v is equals to v not square root of 1 minus v square by c square The apparent volume is half of rest volume. That implies v by two equals to v square root of one minus small v square by c square. That implies c square by four equals to c square minus v square. That implies v square equals to c square minus c square by four. That is equals to three by four c square. That implies v equals to square root of three by two c. So the velocity. of this object is equals to square root of 3 by 2c mcq question number 14 in this question the nearest neighbor distance in sodium crystal is given to us as 1.83 angstroms and the density of electron in any crystal is being asked to calculate now we know that sodium has pcc structure so the nearest neighbor distance in bcc crystal is root 3 a by 2 so, which is given to us as 1.83 angstroms so we can calculate a or the h length from this expression which will be calculated to 2.113 angstroms now the density of electrons will be the number of atoms per unit volume volume of a bcc crystal is a cube so if we have to find the density of electron we will put 2 upon 2.113 whole cube and the density of electron will be calculated as 2.12 into 10 to the power minus 1 per meter cube so the correct option will be option a mcq question number 15 in this question we have been asked to calculate the current through the 100 ohm resistor in the circuit shown below we can see that in this circuit a dc battery of 6 volts is being connected to two diodes z1 and z2 which are further connected in series with three resistance 150 ohm 500 ohm and 100 ohm this 100 ohm resistors current is what we have to calculate so as we can see that the two diodes are connected in opposite polarity so either one of these two diodes will work and that also z1 diode will work because it is connected in forward biasing circuit and z2 will not work because it is reverse bias so the final circuit or the final working circuit that we will get is 6 volt battery connected to the z1 diode along with the 150 ohm resistor which is further connected to the 100 ohm resistor in series so we can write kvl for this circuit as 6 volt which is equal to i that is the current into 250 ohms 250 is basically the series combination of 150 ohm and 100 ohm resistor we can calculate i from this equation and the current i will come as 0.024 amperes that is option b mcq question number 16 in this question we have been given a common ammeter configuration circuit and we have been asked to calculate the collector voltage of the transistor circuit the given values are alpha that is the current gain 0.96 VBE that is the potential difference between base and ammeter as 0.3 volts RC 
collector resistance which is equal to 2.2 kilo ohms and RB that is the base resistance as 100 kilo ohm. The input supply of the circuit is 10 volts so VCC is given to us as 10 volts. Now to solve this circuit we will approach this question by first calculating the current gain of the common emitter configuration that is beta. Beta can be calculated directly by alpha with the expression beta equals to alpha upon 1 minus alpha. By putting the value of alpha we will get beta equals to 24. Now if we know beta we also know one more relation that is the definition of beta that IC collector current is beta times IB. So if we have to apply the input KVL for the circuit it will be something like VCC equals to IBRB plus VBE. Further we can put value of IB as IC by beta and if we simplify this equation we will get an expression for IC that is VCC minus VBE upon RB by beta. Since VBE is given to us and VBE is very less than VCC, we can safely neglect VBE in comparison to VCC. By doing this neglect, we will get IC equals to VCC into beta by RB and putting the three values of VCC, beta and RB, we will get IC as 2.4 milliamperes. Now if we have to apply the KVL in the output loop, we will get the collector voltage VC equals to VCC minus ICRC. If we put the value of VC, IC and RC in this equation, we will get VC equals to 4.72 volts. That is option C is the correct option.